Hi loves, welcome to the channel Style by C. So this tutorial will be an illustration on how to make a handkerchief dress. Do subscribe to the channel, share to friends. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and watch. See you in our subsequent tutorials. So guys, first thing first I'm going to do is I'm going to be folding my paper into two pieces. So you're going to fold it just the normal way you fold your fabric for your cutting of your peplum. Okay, or flee. So that's what I'm going ahead to do now. So I'm making a fold of I made the first fold, then I went ahead to make the second fold, which is going to fold. is after folding our pattern paper into four or your fabric of your choice you can decide to use any fabric of your choice please so you go ahead and divide your waist measurements by 6.28 which is a constant to get a 360 degree flame okay so when i divide my i have 4.4 but i'm going to be approximating it to 4.5 reason why i'm approximating it to 4.5 is because of my zip allowance all right so now I'm going to go ahead and mark it round to so make a cone or a circle. Starting from the tip. And this is what we have. Okay. So now at this point, now I'm going to go ahead and insert our round, our um, full length of our flame. Okay. So I'm going to be working with seven and a half inches, which is the full length of my flame. So from this point now, I'm going to mark it round, seven and a half inches round. So I have part now. This is what our flame looks like. This is for our usual flame. Okay. So now the next thing to do is to create that our dropping handkerchief effect that we usually have on our dress. Okay. So what you have to do now is you're going to make from the center point here, which is this point. This is your center of your cone. Okay. The center. You're going to be connecting to this down part on a straight rule or on a straight line. I prefer to use make a rule which will serve as a point of contact okay but it's not actually necessary okay now from this point now which is the center you're going to be coming down to five inches all right so you can use five inches or more five to ten inches is okay but anything above this is not going to come out well if you should ask me so five to ten inches is more preferable okay so now the next thing we're going to do is from this five inches now we're going to be connecting to this point the full length of our flame. And from here, we're going to be connecting to this point, which is here. And this is what we have. So we're not going to have to cut this out. Stop is this. We're going to be cutting out the radius we have. Then you open up the paper. Alright, so at this point, now notice that when you open it up, it's going to be looking like this. And at this point, you don't know where to start from. So you're going to be using this point as a cardinal point, as a point of focus. That's where you're going to be picking. I'm also going to be picking this and this other area to form that hand that you effect you're looking for. Okay? So I'll go ahead and 
fold it. Arrange it properly here. Yeah. So this one is now, you see that our counterfeit effect is in place, it's showing up, yeah? This is what we have for our handkerchief effect, you see how it is? So what you have to determine now is where you want your zipper to be, okay? So for what we have in the picture, the zipper is by the side, you can decide to leave it by the side, you can decide to leave it by the center, that is the back piece, alright? So I'm going to be using the back now that will also determine how you want your handkerchief effect to be do you want your handkerchief effect to be by the side whatever way you want it to be then you go ahead and make a slit opening where your zip is going to be okay so this is the round of our radius the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do now is to find the center point that is the midpoint yeah so I have 14 inches and the center is 7 inches. So I'm going to be making an opening here. This is where my zip is going to be. So I'll go ahead and make the slit at this point. So this is for my zip allowance. Okay, so you're going to open up here where you're going to be putting your zip. You're going to have a splash. So like this is what the handkerchief effect looks like. When we are done, this is what it looks like. So, this is that area, you don't push out very well. So, so, the longer it is, the more you want it. So, you can also decide to use this as a peplum for your dress. Let's say a peplum top, yeah? But this was done for a skirt. So, this is what it looks like. Alright, so.